sunshine and serenity. Hi friends and welcome back to Sunshine and Serenity and today I'm going to take you guys through our thought process of what we're going to do with our new property. As you can tell we live kind of on a, a, a semi busy highway so if you hear a background noise uh, from that it's just rather busy during the day most of the time so I apologize for that but we are so excited to share with you guys our plans for our very first homestead so uh, if you guys have been following my journey uh, you guys know that I have been gardening and homesteading we've been doing things uh, that we could do on our old property but it wasn't it was in the city we were urban so uh, it's just something that uh, we learned the skills that we could while we were where we were at and then uh, we finally two years later two years in uh, at working and uh, trying to get here we finally got our very first property our very first farm our very first homestead and we are so excited God has blessed us tremendously and uh, we could not have gotten here without him so uh, we are so thankful but we are excited to share with all of you guys how we're going to build our new farm or our new homestead so uh, let's get started I'm going to walk you around the property show you where we have things planned uh, where we're gonna put things and uh, just share our dream and our vision with you guys so if you are new hit that like and subscribe button thank you for joining us if you are a regular viewer we appreciate everybody's support it helps us grow uh, it helps us be able to just kind of share our story with you guys right it's so cool to look back on where we started and the journey that has gotten us here and it's gonna be just so exciting to see where this takes us so I'm so excited to share with you guys are you ready let's go okay so right here you can see we are at the very front of our property behind me you can see the road it gets really busy we get a lot of traffic um, so there's a lot of noise during the day hence car uh, this is a, a pretty busy road so uh, we do get a little bit of traffic down this road but our property is fenced in which is nice but we are sitting here at the front of the property and I'm going to show you uh, where we're gonna start okay so we are actually on 1.1 acres and there you can see kind of the gist of the whole property and this area right in here that you see is going to be where we plant all of our fruit trees um a lot of our berries like our perennial things things like that so this is going to be like our orchard area right throughout here and uh that is what we are planning to do with this area and actually that is uh we're going to be putting those things in pretty soon so when we get ready to start that uh process we are going to film that and show you guys um show you guys that process so that is what we are planning to do with this area up here to the front left of the house and then over here on the other side of the house which there's not a ton that we can do because we do have a water line that runs right through here but i am planning on getting a couple of beds over in uh, this area just for my strawberry plants uh, to grow and then I may do a couple of maybe like uh, elderberries or something up there I haven't quite decided yet but I've got this entire front flower bed that I get to work with and it's really neat because uh, the previous owners actually planted a lot of roses here and they did uh there's a lot of flowers daffodils uh, irises things like that uh crepe myrtles that are planted so i'm super excited to see what uh all pops up whenever it starts uh, getting close to bloom time right and then back here you can see that we have another fenced in area and this fenced in area actually has a barn in it and then we have a shop here that does have electricity and then on the back side of that 
is actually is actually chicken coops. So this is that back fenced in area. So it's fenced all the way around, which is really nice. We are actually planning on running a cross fence from here all the way down the, that side of the barn and fencing off this area because this is going to be our in-ground garden area space. And then that way, since I'll have chickens over here, I can let them out to free range without them getting into and disrupting the garden. But this right here is going to be the entire in-ground garden space right here. So I'm going to, uh, we're going to till this up. We're going to have a massive garden space and we are super excited about it. Now, in-ground gardening is something that I am going to be new in. And so it's something that uh, we're going to learn along the way because where I was at previously, I actually did uh garden beds so I didn't do in-ground gardening but uh, this is a massive space and they previously used it for in-ground gardening so that's what we are going to do now this space right here is going to be a place it holds water as you can see the ground kind of sinks down so what I'm planning on doing is using that to my advantage and planting a lot of perennials and flowers things to bring in the pollinators that actually don't mind being wet and so that's going to be kind of like my little rain garden so to speak so I'm super excited about that. And then on this side of the barn, we are planning on fencing off, starting probably right about here. And this whole back area behind the barn will be fenced. And we are going to do ducks over in this area. And then back here, we are planning on also fencing off at the end of the barn right there. And we are going to do, uh, we're going to probably have it fenced off for ducks and turkeys. So... That is what we're planning on doing this uh, part of behind the barn. So that's what we're going to do. And then over in this area, we're going to have uh, right about there, we're going to do a uh, high tunnel uh, and use it partly for growing warm things uh, throughout the year and then for starting seeds. So that's where that is going to go probably right about there um, we may decide to move it depending on how the sun does we haven't quite decided for sure yet uh, where we're going to put that but uh, that's in the works so we're thinking about that and then under here is where we're going to have all of our meat rabbits uh, well our meat breeding so our breeding stock we're going to have hutches along this wall and then uh, we'll run our meat rabbits out on the grassy areas so our meat rabbits our meat chickens things like that we will run on the grassy areas and then the very last thing that I'm excited about is this chicken coop now it does need a little bit of work uh, and we've talked about me and my husband have talked about what we need to do to kind of work on this but it does have a chicken coop that is already set up for chickens it's got laying boxes it's got roosts it's got everything that we need even feeders and waterers for the chickens so i am super excited uh, to be able to have those too so that was just a quick overview of kind of what we're thinking for this space what we're planning on doing we are so excited uh, <clears throat> we just we are so ready to jump in I am so ready to plant things I am just ready to get it going and uh, we are very 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 excited to be able to get to learn how to steward this land that God has blessed us with uh, steward it well um, be able to become more self-sufficient grow our own things uh, and so I will take y'all along in that journey when we get ready to start that uh, we will be planting fruit trees soon that'll probably be the very first thing we get started so we get we're going to get all of our fruit trees our perennials those things going because they do take uh, several years before they start producing and so we're going to get those going first and uh, that way the sooner we can get that started the sooner we can start harvesting from those things but uh, thanks for joining us on this journey and for supporting us and uh, watching us grow along the way. We are so excited. We have so much more growth and so many more new things to learn. And we are so excited about that. But uh, we just appreciate you guys following our story and um, 
it's just it's so cool to look back and see where God has taken us and how it's come about and just see truly that uh, it was God ordained and it's just I am so I am so thankful uh, we are so blessed and uh, we thank y'all for joining us and for uh, following along on our journey so as always uh, thank you for watching and uh, we will see you guys next time bye friends